Hey, welcome back everyone. We have successfully completed two learning paths for this AZ900 Azure examination series. We are going through Azure Fundamentals course. My name is Sushant Sudesh and I am your instructor for this course. In this module, we are going to go through the review questions for the previous module what we have learned so far. Which of the following ensures data residency and compliance need are met for customers who need to keep their data and applications close. The key word over here is data residency and compliance. So what are the options? We have geographies, regions, and zones. I definitely know it's not regions and it's not zones. The right answer is geographies because geographies allow customers with specific data residency and compliance need to keep their data and applications close. Geographies ensure that data residency, sovereignty, compliance, and resilience requirements are honored within the geographical boundaries. As part of the best practice, all resources that are part of an application and share the same life cycle should exist in the same world. Do you think it should exist in the same availability set? I don't think so because availability set will give you high availability for your services. Do you think these resources should exist in the same region? Definitely not because region is what you select if you want to deploy a resource closer to a user or closest to where the users are going to access from. So the correct answer is resource group because for ease of management, resources that are part of application and share its life cycle should be placed in the same resource group. Which Azure compute resource can you use to deploy to manage a set of identical virtual machines? We have learned about this topic when we are talking about Azure compute series. So we learned about Virtual Machine, Virtual Machine Scale Set, Container, and Azure Functions. So is it Virtual Machine Availability Set? Definitely not. Availability Set is, is something which will give you high availability from fault tolerance and update domain. Is it Availability Zone? Absolutely not. Again, Availability Zone will give you high availability from data center, disaster point of view. So the correct answer is virtual machine scale set. Virtual machine scale set lets you deploy and manage a set of identical virtual machines. Which of the following should you use when you are concerned only about code running your service and not the underlying platform or infrastructure? Again, this is something we learned about the types of Azure Compute Services. So is it Azure App Service? Definitely not. Azure App Service is a platform as a service. You still need compute in the backend to run these services. Is it Azure Container Instance? No, Azure Container Instance is for containers or containerized applications. So the correct answer is Azure Functions. Azure Functions are ideal when you are concerned only about code running your service and not the underlying platform or infrastructure. Simple question, Azure Resource Manager template use which format? So we have used a couple of templates now to deploy VMs using ARM template. What sort of a format it uses? Is it HTML? Definitely not. Is it H XML? No, the correct answer is JSON. Resource manager template are JSON files that define the resources you need to deploy for your solution. You can use templates to easily recreate multiple versions of your infrastructure, such as staging and production. Which of the following services is a distributed network of servers that can effectively deliver web content to users. 
So which of the following service is a distributed network of servers that can effectively deliver web content to users? Is it Azure App Service? Definitely not. Azure App Service is a platform as a service which you can use to create web applications or mobile applications or APIs, etc. Is it Cosmos DB? Definitely not. Cosmos DB is a, is a globally distributed, highly available database service. So the correct answer is Azure Content Delivery Network or CDN. A content delivery network is a distributed network of servers that can effectively deliver web content to users. Which of the following is optimized for storing massive amounts of unstructured data, such as videos and images? So the options are blobs, files, and queues. The key word over here is storing massive amount of unstructured data. So blobs is where you keep unstructured data and blobs can support massive amount of storage as well so it's definitely not files files is where you create an smb protocol file share queues is where you create applications which need a messaging services so the correct answer is blobs azure blob storage is microsoft object storage solution for the cloud Blob storage is optimized for storing massive amounts of unstructured data, such as text or binary data. Which of the following is part of an Azure artificial intelligence service? So we learned about different types of Azure AI services. Which one in the below is going to be the part of that AI service? Is it HD Insight? No, that is part of Azure database services. Is it Azure Machine Learning Service? Absolutely, yes. Is it Azure Dev Test Labs? No, that is part of Azure DevOps Services. So the correct answer is option two, which is Azure Machine Learning Service. Machine Learning Service provide a cloud-based environment that you can use to develop, train, test, deploy, manage, and track machine learning models. Which of the following cloud services provide development collaboration tools, including high performance pipelines, free private Git repositories, and configurable Kanban boards? So we are looking at a development collaboration tool, which support the high performance pipeline and free private Git repositories. It's definitely not HD Insights. It's not even Grid as well. That's again a service. The correct answer is Azure DevOps Services. Because Azure DevOps Services include development collaboration tools, including high performance pipeline, free private Git repositories, and configurable Kanban boards. Microsoft Azure data centers are organized and made available by, is it geographies? No. Is it zones? No. The correct answer is regions. Microsoft Azure data centers are organized and made available by regions. Which of the following is used to ensure availability during maintenance events? Is it scale set? No, scale set is used to scale up and scale down the number of instances of virtual machine. Is it availability zone? No, because availability zone will give you high availability during a failure in terms of a data center. So the correct answer is availability set because availability set provides a VM redundancy and availability. This configuration within a data center ensures that during either a planned or unplanned maintenance event, at least one virtual machine is available and meets the 99.95 Azure SLA. Which statement below is going to be true about Azure Load Balancer? We basically have to read out the entire statement to see if that is going to be relevant for Azure Load Balancer. 
You must use Azure Load Balancer if you want to distribute traffic among your virtual machines running in Azure. No, you don't. It's not a must to use Load Balancer if you want to distribute your traffic among virtual machines running in Azure. Another option is Azure Load Balancer work with internet facing traffic only. Definitely not. You can use Azure Load Balancer for internal and external traffic share. Internal or external traffic load balancing. Another option is Azure Load, Azure load Balancer distribute traffic among similar systems, making your service more highly available. Absolutely correct. If one system is unavailable, Azure Load Balancer stops sending traffic to it and then directs traffic to one of the responsive servers. You are managing one of your Azure services remotely from your Android phone. Which management tools would best allow you to do manage remotely from your Android phone with the least amount of administrative effort? Is it PowerShell? Definitely not. Uh, is it Azure Portal? Yep, technically you can use Azure Portal in your browser on your phone, but that is not the right answer. Is it Azure CLI? Absolutely right. Even though you can use the Azure Portal in your browser, it is not a better option than using a mobile app which uses Azure CLI or Azure Cloud Shell. All right. So that concludes learning path two. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about Microsoft Azure security, privacy, compliance, and trust. And the first lesson out of that learning path is securing your network connectivity. So I will see you on the next video talking about how to secure your network connectivity in Azure.